Okay. You want to go? You want to go? Okay, let's see how much health you got. <laughs> they got spiders here! Wow, what is that? Whoa! Oh! And I would say, um, yeah, just right smack in the middle here. Let's do it. There we go. Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is Games for Kicks and welcome to Satisfactory. Satisfactory is currently having an alpha weekend from the 8th until the 11th, which I was lucky enough to get access to, and the game is officially coming to early access on the 19th of March on the Epic Game Store. Satisfactory is basically Factorio in 3D. You are landing on a big, huge planet, and you build your constructions, your machines, you automate certain processes like smelting or mining and so on and so on. There's already a lot unlocked in this alpha and there will even be more unlocked for the early access version. So the alpha actually is scaled down and there's already a lot to it. Anyway, we're gonna get started. I hope you guys are gonna have a good time with the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the box to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. And here we are crash landed on a strange new planet. Ah, <sighs> oh, it is such a fresh, beautiful air. We landed in this little pod and look at this, look at this. They have air whales, okay, or manta, flying manta rays. I can't wait to be able to touch them and fly up in the air and taste their meat. They must be tasting delicious. I mean, they're so slow. They're, they're slowly burning in the sun. It's like, it must be delicious. Anyway, okay, enough nonsense. Now, this planet here, as far as I know, is not randomly generated. The starting location is, because I've obviously played it a little bit to test a, bit, a couple of things, and I did land in a different location, but as far as I can see, the planet seems to be the same. So hopefully we're gonna find the same area because I had a very beautiful area near that waterfall over there that I started building at. You can pick up things randomly you just press E. This consumable possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object scanner identification. Thank you, Susan. They call her Ada, but it's Susan. They, they just don't know it yet. So um, Susan is telling us what we found in our inventory, which we can't open yet because that is part of the introductory part of the game. So in the moment, the first thing the game does, it gives you an uh, uh, ability under F, as you can see on the bottom right, which puts your disassembler into your hand. And then you go and look at an item and you dismantle it. And it gives you back the whole part that we need to build our initial base. Second so, objective. Please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Which is this little guy here. According to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Sup, 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 sup. Come here, you little fish. Third objective. Sup, sup. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note. The acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. When you're also on the way to do something, always pick up, in the beginning especially, always pick up every leaf and everything you can. Oh, 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 we already... Initial scans reveal coloring properties in the flower petals. Further analysis required. Yeah, these guys are a little bit annoying because they can actually hit you but they only take two, three hits and then they're out. Having two is a little bit more challenging. There we go. We still have a lot of health, which is on the bottom left. There we go, Stating got it. The remains of this creature might shed zap, light zap. on how to defend zap, yourself zap. in the future. I Look at that. Analysis. I never noticed they have ass wings. Look at that. Beautiful, they have ass wings. They're basically the equivalent of a boar, except they have wings. I suppose it's like when they're very gassy, they can flap them around. And then you have this dude here, which looks absolutely weird and amazing. minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object scanner identification. Yes, 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 Susan, thank you. And look at the little head. Look at this gigantic body and little head. And look, sap, sap. He goes, no, no touches. Oh, he's stuck. We might actually get to down one. That would be awesome. Because so far I wasn't able to down one because they always run off and they're very fast. So let's see what they drop. I would be very curious. Oh, wow. How much health does it have? It gets stuck again. Yes. Oh, welcome to your planet. Oh, is it dead? No. Wow, it is not going down. Okay, I think we're gonna give up. I, I think you're, you're... Oh, did it die? 
No, it didn't. It just jumped away. So I don't know if you can kill it, but I like it that the biggest creature so far I discovered is actually the scare the scaredest one. It's 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 great. I love it because that's the one I would have dodged in the beginning a lot. And then I was like, you know what? Let's just try it. And it runs off. OK, basically what we want to do now is we want to use our scanner back to the game. Yes, yes. Back to the game. Okay, stop doing shenanigans. We have a scanner that when we hold C down, we can select what we want to scan. And if we press just see quickly it scans the last thing that you scanned there we go we have 300 meters 400 meters and yeah it's all in that general direction so we're going to go into this direction here even though i want to get close to the location i was in when i tried the game because it was a very lovely location oh what is this Limestone already? Wow, okay, yeah, we're gonna pick some of that up. We don't need it right now, but it's actually good to have some in our pocket in case we're not gonna be able to find the location I want to find. Oh, there's a little bird. Hi! Look at you! Oh, you can fly. Sap, sap! Oh, I sapped him right in the ass cheeks. Can I pick something up from you? Did you drop any feathers or anything? No. Ah, oh, what is it? Oh, my balls. What is that? What? Oh my balls! Did you see that? Whoa! I haven't seen you before! You're amazing! We're gonna see each other later when I'm a little bit more prepared. Oh yes, we will. We shall. So let's see if we have a nice area here to build in because we need to... Oh look, there's water. What are you? Sap! Okay, I oh, I can't sap you. I can't do anything with you. Hmm, maybe when I have a chainsaw later on, I can cut you down or something. Oh, can you swim, actually? What is that in the water over there? Wow! There's a lot I haven't seen! We're not even gonna start building! We're gonna be exploring right now! Okay, this looks like... Um, okay, wire. Okay, we got free wire. Free cables. Wow! Okay, can we disassemble any of that? That is amazing. We're already finding a lot of resources we actually need later on. That is so cool. Okay, so can we disassemble any of that? Oh, that would have been nice if you could. Oh, that would have been so sweet. We can all see these barrel nuts. And there we go. We have full health back. Unbelievably and amazing. There we go. Nice. So let's go into the water and see what happens. Can we dive? Can we dive down? Set X C. Okay, we we don't be. It seems we can't dive. Okay. But we can swim. <gasps> Repairs needed. This is amazing. I don't even know what this is. Steel plates. Oh, we're gonna come back here, baby. Wow. Okay, so let's see where the iron was. I'm getting so sidetracked, guys. The first time I played this. I did not even find these locations. That is amazing. And there's no map as far as I know, so you have to kind of find them again. Okay, there's a lot of water. Um, can we jump into the water? We can! Okay, and now I don't know how to get up. <laughs> that is cool! Okay, you wanna go? You wanna go? Okay, let's see how much health you got. Okay, okay. Oh, nice! We got alien organs. Look at this beast! He's amazing! Wow! Okay, it, it, we were back at the crash site and I decided to swim across just to explore this area a little bit. And there is this SAM ore. I have no idea what that is. I have not seen this before, but while we're here, we might as well completely obliterate this node. And I don't know if they grow back or not, but hell, we're gonna have some of that. Okay, let's turn the light on a little bit. Nighttime is actually pretty awesome because it's not too dark. It's pretty bright. <laughs> Where are you, you little bastards? Oh my balls, look at the size of them! Ah! They look so amazing though! Look at them! 
go on, go in the light, go in the moonlight so I can check you out. There you go. Oh, the moon is moving. Wow, what is that? Whoa! Oh! I need to see what that is up there. Whoa, dude! Oh, okay, you actually don't hurt that much. Maybe I can kill you? I don't know. Okay, can we play hide and seek here? Okay. Okay, you're not actually looking at me, which is great. So you can't shoot at me. Okay, you're running away. Okay, fair enough. If you're running away, I'm not. Ah, don't shoot me in the back. Don't run away. Oh, he brought a friend. These guys are a pain. Got it. A summer slop whip. I have no idea what that is, but I want it and I'm excited for it. I got a bad feeling about this. Ah, balls. I think we're gonna die. We're gonna fall off the planet. <gasps> okay, we're not supposed to go there. Ooh, what is this? Some more fruit? Whoa! That wasn't fruit. What is this? <gasps> we got a carapace. Nice! There's so much to discover. I'm, I'm finding new things every few seconds. Okay, these guys are growly. Okay. Ah, oh, he's a big guy. Whoa. Whoa, he's a big guy. He's like a big version of these wildebeests. Keep hitting him. Don't give in. Don't give in. Yes, got him. He was a big guy. Is he like the same as the wings? The dude with the wings? No. He's more like a buffalo version or something. Wow. All right, I think I found the place that I want to start at, but we have a little bit of an unwanted... Um... There we go. Okay. And we're going to pick up some iron because that's what it wants us to do. Now, Susan, tell me. Fourth objective. Build the hub. Note, to complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution, ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. All right, so basically we're gonna start building a hope now and we want to make sure we build it near resources. Now, I already scouted a little bit ahead. We have um, some copper note over there and we have some limestone over there in this direction. So we actually are doing really well for resources in our area. Now, the only thing is we're gonna have to build near here. So it's a bit hilly, but we should be okay. It is a very lovely area though as well. Nice. I like the open one. I didn't want to go into the jungle. It was just too jungly. <laughs> Actually, we could build there. Look at this area. This is a lovely big area. Nice. Limestone for days. Iron up there. Oh, cobalt over there. This is sweet. We just have some shenanigans there, but I think we're okay. So let's build. And I would say... Um, yeah, just right smack in the middle here. Let's do it. There we go. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature manual craft bench. Hub feature hub terminal. Fifth objective hub upgrade storage and power. Note the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. All right. So basically the next objective is to upgrade the hub. Now, when you access the Hope Terminal, you can see what is already unlocked in this Alpha of the Weekend is actually pretty amazing. I'll show you later a world I was testing on that I'm way further ahead, just to show you what's in it. So don't go away, stay until the end. Um, so tier zero is the first one. Yeah, tier zero has the Hope upgrade one, two, three, four, five. So you can see if we upgrade the Hope now, we need 10 iron rods to upgrade the Hope, but it will unlock all of these things. If we go to Hope Upgrade 2, we get two extra inventory slots. We can build a constructor, a power pole, and this, but it will cost us also 10 iron plates, 10 iron rods, 
150 wires. So you can see all the stuff that it unlocks. Hope upgrade three, four, five, and then after that, we get to unlock these guys here, which is unbelievable. Complete the hop, complete the hop, and then we get to build a space elevator. There's and even there on these sections here you have a lot of things that you can like utilities you can do like you can build like a util you can exchange i don't know if it's building yeah but you basically click on say utilities and it has a lot of items you can build under utilities and you just exchange them for goods and that unlocks all the blueprints but there is a lot in this game i'm just telling you about it now in case i'm not able to show it f uh, to you in this episode but we're gonna have a look at my base uh, later on that i already worked on on another game safe and um that way you can see actually what it is you can do so um let me see here iron ingots we're gonna make iron ingots out of these. Um, actually, the first thing I want to do is, do I not have storage yet? No, okay, so we get storage in a second. So let's do the iron ingots. Then we turn the iron ingots into iron rods and go from there. So you just hold down the mouse. That's a bit confusing. When you click once, nothing happens. You can see the lights here. When you hold down for about half a second, you get the lights full and it does one action. And this one requires two, two hammer action, as you can see, one, two. Yeah, so it's a bit weird. There we go, and we're gonna throw. Yeah, let's let's throw these things on the ground here, the limestone for now. There we go, and build the ten iron rods. Excellent. So now we're gonna go to the hub. We're gonna say, hey, we want to upgrade this. So select this milestone, as they call it. Then place the ten iron rods in there and upgrade the hub. Now look at this. Boom. And here's the next level of the Iron Hub. Unbelievably beautiful. And this thing gets bigger and bigger. Congratulations. You have unlocked Hub Feature Biomass Generator. Hub Feature Personal Storage. Scanner Feature Copper. New Equipment Buildings and Blueprints, which can be found in the workshop when built, build menu, and craft bench respectively. There we go. I'm going to put everything Sixth in that I don't need right now. Hub Upgrade Construction. Note. Connect buildings to a generator for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a blueprint to be set. Advice, automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Okay, so now basically we have to upgrade it again. What I really like about this is, yes, you can do everything manual. Yeah, you don't have to use any automation at all. You don't have to use any machines. Frankly, even in the beginning, you actually don't have that many abilities to uh, automate things because you don't have the tools, you don't have the resources, and you dirt certainly don't have the blueprints unlocked yet. Yeah. So all it really says to you is like, hey, get these materials. How you achieve that is up to you. Yeah. But obviously, what we would like to do is seeing that we unlocked a smelter and that we unlocked on this one here a portable miner instead of us manually mining it would make a lot of sense to actually have it automated now i don't know if this is limestone or or iron ore oh my balls this is all iron ore this is good because this guy here gives us a lot of iron ore doing things by hand yeah meanwhile this here is in pure iron ore and that gives us only one every time we hit it yeah but you're gonna put the miner down there anywhere here and it just goes off so let's work on a portable miner That was a scary ass noise. Oh, hello there. Tsst, tsst. Taste your meat. Um, <laughs> so uh, we're gonna put a portal miner down there and that will be the start of, of automating things. And then as you unlock more things, as you can see here, you can do um, later on, you're gonna actually get um, not space elevators, a miner, a fully automated miner that you can connect actually um, conveyor belts to all that stuff. So it pretty much has the factorio styles, uh, um, the factorio style to it. And you also get things like walls, yeah, which is amazing. So look at this walls, here normal walls. And later on, you can even get walls which have conveyor belts on top if you want to do some really nice fancy structures. This game has already so much in it. When it comes to early access, you're going to be busy for hours. Yeah, it's amazing. This biomass guy is to generate power. Um, it itself doesn't use power, which is good, but if we put things in like leaves, for example, 
it generates 20 megawatt power. So this is your limit right now. So while you may think, oh yeah, we just gonna put like 14 smelters here and we're gonna get it all automated. Yeah, you won't have the power for that. It's not gonna happen. So um, you have 20 megawatt power available in the moment that you can produce. So in a smelter takes five, I think. So there's only so much you can do in the beginning until you unlock the ability to make more biomass generators and other power sources um, that you can discover through research. But anyway, let's do a little bit more, a little bit more advancing. We're gonna go into the next uh, hope level, I would say. And we're gonna start making some uh, miners, portable miners and a smelter. And we have some cables actually to make some power lines as well, which is really, really good. And um, then we're gonna go from there. So I'm turning all the iron ore that I collected into iron ingots right now, because they're the basic source. You need iron ingots for every iron product. You can either make iron plates out of two iron ingots, iron rods out of one iron ingot, and so on. The same for copper. You need copper wire, it uses one. You want cables, it uses two of the wires. So you already in your head can see what you kind of want to start looking into automating. You want to, for example, say, well, you know what? Let's automate straight away making iron ingots. Let's do that, yeah? We need to do that by making um, six of these plates. So one, two, three, there we go, six. So let's go, we have a new icon on the bottom now as well, which is one, two, three, our hotbar, and two is for power, which means we can use this guy to attach power line to something else to give it power. Now, without power pylons, you can only attach one cable from here to another machine. That's it. It can only have one line. So obviously what you want eventually is pylons that you can connect the line to and the pylons can have up to four lines going to from it in total. So not four to and four from it, just four in total. So and that allows you then to use more pylons to divide all the power between the different machines. But in the beginning, we're very limited. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a workshop and that workshop will allow us to make a portable miner. So that workshop is six iron plates and six rods. So we select the blueprint. Okay, we want a little bit of a distance. There we go. Yeah, so we can walk through it. It still looks like it actually is um, working and it doesn't need power, which is great. So we can now go to the equipment shop. We can make a supper in case we die and we have to respawn and make another supper. Or we can make a portable miner, which we also need four more iron plates for. So let's make the iron plates. There we go. And let's make a portable miner. There you go. Very beautiful. Now we take the portable miner, put it in our hand. Walk over to any of the mining nodes, especially the impure ones, and just throw it on it with left click. And we're going to take this apart in the meantime. And look at that little guy now. There we go, nice. And we can access it and we can see it doing one ore per second. Now, this only can hold 100 ore. So if you want a lot more ore, you have to make multiple. Yeah, but in the moment, I think we're okay with, with one. All right, let's put the smelter down. I think that's that's straight enough, yeah, that's, a, that's okay. We're gonna put it right here and not too close to our building, I would say. Actually, do you know what? We're gonna do it this way. Because I'm just thinking a little bit ahead when we um, want to actually automate some of that stuff. So we're going to have a, a, a miner sitting here feeding into the smelter. And you can build anywhere on the planet. I could build this all the way over there if I want to. But, of course, it needs power. So we're going to have to take our power uh, line out, cutter out. We don't need to worry about power lines, which is great. Because we found them at the um, crash site, which I have no idea anymore where it is. And there we go. Now we have power. There doesn't seem to be a range limit. But anyway, we need to power the power as well. Um, did we not already do it? Oh, we did. Yeah. So what is the problem here? It doesn't have anything to do or it's not enough power. Let me see. Iron ingots. And put them in. Yes, it's working. This is using 4 megawatts power which means we have 16 left out of the 20. Now, I don't know if you can see anywhere exactly the usage you have overall in all the connected parts, but it says 20 here. 
and consumption uh, again it could do with a little bit more information i don't see any information here and you can't switch these crafts uh, these crafts at all in the moment so there's no way of switching them what do we need to upgrade to the next hop oh we already oh 10 10 10 and 50 copper so we need to get copper which means we probably should make another miner to automate the mining let me see portable miner okay let me make another portable miner then we're gonna get some copper and uh, then we're gonna be able to make our own copper wires and all the shenanigans that we need to do with copper so very close to our place we actually have two copper nodes which is really really awesome now these gassy things are weird i don't know if you can do anything with them but if you get too close this is what happens it gets all weird and you start losing health if you get too close you see that yeah wow disgusting so it's like bubble farts in a blanket like you know it's like dutch ovens very very disgusting so um, oh yeah let's pick that up now here we have our copper ore so we're just gonna pick up um the copper ore node oh no i don't know which is a node and which is a vein one of them is is something the other one is the other <laughs> so we're gonna pick up that copper ore there we go and now the impure that's left we're going to put a miner on it there you go excellent and we're gonna harvest that i don't think these guys come back i don't think they respawn but as far as i know these nodes underneath are infinite so you don't have to worry about it i built another miner in case we can find limestone but that won't be until the next level of the hub where we need not limestone to make cement so we can start making surfaces Oh, there's our base. I love the way you can see it in the distance. It's absolutely beautiful. What is this standing there in the distance? Very intrigued by that. I'm going to have to check that out later. Also, there is fall damage in the game. While you can drop from quite some height, and sometimes even from a huge height, and you don't get hurt, I think that's more to do with the fact if you're touching the walls that you're where you fall down, a bit like in Seven Days to Die. But in general, um, just be very careful um, of height because you, there is fall damage. It's just not as vicious. So, okay, um, we have a lot of iron. So why don't we split this and put 50 in here? Oh, yeah, we have to change production. Copper ingots. And we're going to put the 53 in here. But we're going to make the other ones manually. So we can select the milestone, actually, and not having the resources yet. We can put resources in here if we want to like say for example copper wire um no not copper wire what oh we have actually nothing <laughs> okay okay so what do we need again we need uh 10 plates so you don't have to constantly go back and check what you need we're gonna make 10 of those i wish you would kind of count what you have in your inventory and then let you know oh by the way you have this now there we go and we need 10 of those and we need 50 of those which is very quick because it's six time, six each time. There you go, and that's it. So all we do now is put it in, shift left click, shift left click, shift left click, and you can see it only fills up what it needs. And bada bing, bada bam, here's level two. Boom, done. Look at that, what a beauty. We now have new buildings, new craft tools. Oh, you have hello. unlocked scanner, stone. New buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively. All right. Seventh objective, hub upgrade, conveyor belts. Note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Note, constructors are capable of constructing copious parts, of which only one type at a time. So here we go. We have now new recipes. We can now make biomass um, from leaves. We can now make concrete. We can make screws and reinforced iron plates. Now, biomass, the benefit is we have some wood, actually. Do we have more wood in here? Yeah, let's take the wood. I think you can make it from wood as well. Biomass. Oh, I thought you can do it from wood as well. Maybe we can do that later. So if we take the leaves that we have here, 500, for example, and we're going to go to biomass. It takes 10 leaves, yeah? And we're just gonna make whatever. There you go. You don't need leaves for anything else, really, as far as I know. There we go. So what we can do now is we can put that in here. Go to our biomass generator or burner um, take the leaves out and if you look at these leaves they give us um, 0 0.75 seconds for each one but if we use these guys 
we get six seconds. So you can also make the concrete now, which you make from limestone, which is something you can scan for now in your uh, scanner. You have now limestone added. There we go. And let's see how far away limestone is. Oh, there was a quick one. That is only 152 meters and we have a miner on us. That is excellent. Anyway, I'm going to save the game. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the first episode. It should be nice and long. We did a lot of things, I think. We did a lot of exploring, showing you the animals that are on the, uh, the creatures that are actually on the planet. Well, probably not all of them, but we found a lot. We also showed you some of the secret things that you can find. Well, they're not secret, but some of the rarer things like these snails and these weird red orbs and all those things and we showed you the different um, environments that you have on the planet we have the water that you can already swim in we have waterfalls we have things that make noises randomly somewhere that scare the big jeepers out of me but oh that is you that was you there you go You're evil they're evil they're the forehood okay they spot you they're like oh, i'm not attacking i'm weak and then they're gonna let the big guys know where you are that's what they do exactly i wouldn't trust them they're evil evil papa guys anyway Oh, yes, let's get that snail, baby. We need that later. So I'm going to leave this here. Um, again, I think we covered a lot. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, if you would like to see more of specific things, this game is more than just about building. It is basically Factorio in 3D, but it also has a... Uh, a lot more touch to exploration and survival well it is like the factoria i suppose because factoria has that as well with the monsters coming and attacking your base i suppose at some point you can make turrets as well and maybe have things attacking you that would be really awesome like you know make this semi tower defense that would be so sweet anyway i hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope to see you guys in the next video and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time until then as always viel spaß and happy gaming all right i'm loading my test world in and um, this is where i already played a little bit more and i i kind of rushed through it very much as well so um i didn't explore a lot i just wanted to see you know how far you can go and what is available so let's have a look at our hope here so this is after i finished this hope with the full upgrades yeah so i finished upgrading to five so we can now build the space elevator which is the next big thing i'm gonna have to build now you have tier one and tier two unlocked and this tier three is gets unlocked when you have the space elevator now as far as i know in the alpha they're gonna have sorry in the alpha they only have these first three tiers but in the early access they're gonna have up to six enabled already i think so look out for that now when you go for example to utility you can see you have like walls you know um which um have doors in them windows in them which is unbelievable which is awesome you have biofuels then you have logistics which is all for moving things around conveyor splitters um, conveyor mergers unbelievable absolutely fantastic you have personal storage that you can build then you have um, a beacon oh you have a beacon nice oh i can't wait and an object scanner as well that is awesome and then you have things that you can research oh yeah look at this conveyor walls you have actually conveyor walls which are walls that connect to other walls and floors use these to make buildings with several floors has three conveyor belt connections in them that is awesome so you can put your machines inside a building and then have fed in the stuff oh you can do some amazing constructions yeah and especially with things like this guy here which is a conveyor pole which allows you to set the pole at different heights so you can go like into windows on the top and all that stuff yeah now here we can see we have um the space elevator already unlocked i just don't have the resources for it yet um productions we have more productions logistics this is all we have in the moment but there's more to unlock as you just seen here can build ramps and foundations which is really awesome different type of walls and you can do a storage container now i already built some things which i'll show you now in a second this is now the biomass generator that you can build yourself it also i think generates 20 20 megawatt they each do so i have 60 megawatt power being generated right now and um right now here are my mines where you can see they use five megawatt these are the big mines yeah and they feed the stone or ore into my smelter the smelter keeps going and boom 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 it just keeps outputting the stuff the uh, the ingots and then i have a factory here which uses the ingots and puts um, out iron plates. I can at any time change and say, hey, make rods or make wires or make this. But in the moment, we only have 
um, the one in there and I don't need rods because I crafted already a lot so you can see this is all stuff that I already started crafting now um, this is the max tier hope and it has a little research facility in here so what am i researching in the moment oh, i'm researching in the moment the carapace i already researched the green power slug and that unlocked another blueprint so i can now select this milestone and create an overclock building whatever that is the uh, this upgrades unlocks new functionality that lets you overclock your factory buildings that is pretty awesome and um okay so this basically allows you to overclock factories buildings and these power shards they came from researching this one of the power slugs there's different colors green yellow i don't remember which one it was i think it was the green one and the mucus from the power slugs compressed into a solid crystal shard radiates a strange power so once you can um overclock your factories you can put these power shards into here and they will allow this to go a lot faster and basically overclock and run uh, more efficient now the power lines here don't seem to have a distance um, limitation I know this is a very long outro but I just wanted to show you some of the things you can do just in case I don't get time to record more this weekend and I didn't want you guys to sit there and say oh what else can you do in this game so I just wanted to show you everything that I already uh, kind of did and um, without the progression path um, directly displayed oh hello sometimes I can't pick them up sometimes I can so over here I have my cobalt section for example which is again a separate miner which I actually turned off <laughs> because once we had it connected all my power shut down because we didn't uh, produce enough power but I built the biomass generators and stand so you can see here these guys allow up to 20 60 megawatts uh, sorry this is 60 megawatt being generated right now but again it doesn't show me right now how much has actually been used of that which i hope is going to come obviously but their quality of life things you can actually know by just knowing how many machines you have and then we're going to feed that into here so let's see if we can do that there you go excellent and here it is beautiful look at that now we're going to turn this baby on and copper ore going in making copper ingots and that's it